All right, so today what I have here is I have the mock-up of the Arcadian Manual. I just finished laying it out in the word processor in Photoshop and a bunch of other programs to set it all up. Then I printed out a quick rough draft on my, lay, on my inkjet printers. Print quality is very low because I didn't want to use up all my ink on one print. But it's basically just, it's, I printed it out just so I can make sure the mock-up works and that everything is good and then I can edit it by pen too. So that's the front cover. That's the rear cover in full color. The cover will be a thicker sheet of paper too. On the inside front cover, we have the backstory about what's happening. Then we have how you control the game. And then how to play the various gameplay modes. A nice centerfold of the Arcadian. This will be full color also. Heather Station and what it does, how you score, how you win. Pictures of the various sprites that are used in the game, what the Arcadian looks like, undamaged, minor damage, severe damage, the various drones and formation, drones loose and kamikaze drones. The copyright notice, which everything has to have nowadays. And then the back cover. So there you go. That's the Arcadian Manual. It's 12 pages. It's four more pages than the CCR Manual. Let me just, let me just show you the difference. This was the CCR Manual, and CCR was in black and white. Well, technically it's not black and white. It's got this like, I guess you'd say it's black, but the gray has like a reddish tint to it. I don't know why. And then we have the turmoil manual. Again, I am not happy about the color scheme I use in this one. I use the black and white scheme. I was trying to mimic the original ColecoVision controller manuals. Then Arcadian goes full color. And every page has color in one form or the other, including the little grid in the background which I noticed was used on, they used the graph paper style in the background of a number of game manuals for the Atari 2600. Astro Blast, Dig Burger Time. I think it was the ones that the, I can't remember the name of it, started with an M. They were like the resellers of the games and their manuals had that, but I kind of like that concept, so I'm using it too. The Arcadian and the Heather Station and other ships. You really can't tell too well right here in my print because obviously, because I I print it in draft mode, so I wouldn't eat up all the ink cartridges. But you can see all the ships in there. You can see the stars in the background. All the various ships. The ships now have names to the drones and formation, loose drones, kamikazes. So there we go. That's the manual for the Arcadian. The box is already done printing. I'm just waiting for them to ship it. The labels are done. I'm waiting for them to ship it. The poster is done. Waiting for them to ship it. Once I review this, I will send this out for printing and have them ship it here. And everything should show up. And start going out with cartridges on January 2nd, like I had originally stated. The game's going out to beta testers, to uh, two dozen beta testers this week to start testing the mechanics of it. See what they like. Um, I am not concerned one bit about having any kind of glitches in it because the code is very tight now. I found the one last error that I had with Turmoil, and that was fixed on the new revision of Turmoil. And Arcadian is based on that code, but forked off of it and rewritten from scratch to never have that issue. So we should not have any issues at all. So there we go. Oh, and let me show you something. I've been tinkering my 3D printer and I printed a little ColecoVision. It's kind of cute. Then I tried to play with controllers. I printed a little controller. That I don't like. That looks like garbage. But still, had some fun. Have a great weekend.